This is the house of tiny tearaways, and for three families, the start of a very emotional journey. Listen, listen, no ifs. No. I just feel like I'm a failure to them. Behind me is a house that over the next four weeks is going to become much more than just a home. It's going to be the answer to some very desperate parents' prayers. Three families, all struggling to cope with their tearaway toddlers, have been invited to live here and try and turn their lives around in just six days. And the person who's going to help them with this mammoth task is clinical psychologist Dr Tanya Byron. My challenge is to help as many families as I can and I've been given just six days to do it. The design and construction of the house has been completed in conjunction with a committee of childcare experts to make sure that it's a safe, fun place for kids to stay whilst also recreating a realistic and practical home environment. The remote cameras and those located behind the two-way mirrors allow Dr Tanya to observe the pitfalls and the progress, the tantrums and the tears 24 hours a day, every day. Some of them might have problems that will take six months to crack, not six days, but I hope at least I can show them the first steps. For the families chosen to be part of this unique programme, this is make or break. For Dr Tanya Byron, this is the biggest challenge of her career. This is the house of tiny tearaways. And this is our first family, the Tanners. In the last year and a half, the Rochdale family home of Lee Turner and Louise Kirk has been a battleground. Three-year-old Jessica's daily temper tantrums are so aggressive that quality family time has become a thing of the past. <laughs> Louise put her career aspirations on hold to become a full-time mum. Now 27, her life revolves around Jessica and her six-year-old sister, Hannah. I want to go and have a career but I wanted to stay at home with them. I wanted to be the one that fetched them from school every day and took them from school. So that's a joy. It's supposed to be like a real happy, joyous time. 45-year-old Lee used to play keyboard in a band. Now an IT manager in Rochdale, his routine is more nine to five than rock and roll. I'm fortunate in that I miss a lot of the daily tantrums. I see the ones at the weekend. By Friday, she's had enough, that's it. She's had five days of basically looking after the kids by herself. You can't sit in your knickers. Don't wait. Don't do that. If you smack me, I will smack oh, you back. Yeah. She gets aggressive. She'll slap me, she'll hit me, she'll kick Lee. She'll just do things on purpose, I think, a lot of the time, to get attention or out of spite. She's had tantrums up to an hour and a half, which is really, really exhausting. Two, three tantrums a day on average doesn't sound like much, but when you add it up and it becomes 20 a week, 80 a month, that's when it really starts to get to you. We tried the gentle approach, we tried the talking, we tried the discipline, we tried taking things away. It doesn't matter what approach we take, none of them seem to work. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing it all on my own. I'm pretty good, I'll say to them, right, you're not having sweets because you've not eaten your tea. But Lee will come home and she'll start and she's very manipulative. Give me my drink. No, but are you going to go to the toilet? I've got to go to the actor. I tend to give in a lot easier than Louise does because I, I hate noise. I'll do anything for a quiet life sometimes. When you want to eat your tea and talk nicely, then you can do it. 
her out. Let me close the door and when you can shut up, you can come out. Two, no, two. Jessie, you're hurting me. Jessica. Right, are you going to eat your tea? Is that made enough now? Our relationship has taken yeah, strain with her tantrums see, and things and I'm sure Lee's sick and tired of hearing me screaming. Yeah, he must hate me sometimes, that's how I feel. I feel like, I don't know, I just... It's really hard. I think it's got to the stage of myself and Louise if we don't resolve something with the kids. I think it can affect our relationship. I mean, to be quite honest, we could end up splitting up for a while. Sorry. I just want, I want things to go to where they used to be, you know? The first day at the House of Tiny Tearaways is assessment day. Dr Tanya has already read case notes and seen video footage of the family, but now needs to observe them unobtrusively from her office, where I'll be joining her later to hear what she has to say. Done. Over the next six days, this will be the Turner's new home. Like all our families, they're free to leave at any time. Dr Tanya's hoping they'll be able to stay the distance. I want a Please, may I have a pear? Please, can I have a pear? I want Thank to go you. in there and eat it. No, you're not allowed food in there. You can't take it in there, you've got to sit down and eat it. Oh! Must sit in that high chair and eat it. No, you're not a baby. No, you're not sitting in there, those are for the little children. Oh, I want to sit in there. No! Sit at this little table here sit and eat it. Sit at the table. <gasps> so, how do you think the Turners are coping, having seen them in there a little bit? I'm struck by how anxious these parents are and how negative they are towards their children. Really, really negative. I, I don't know how many times they've said no to their girls, but I think they've said no to their girls more times than they've probably said anything else. Whenever I see the girls do something lovely, they get absolutely no feedback at all. Right, so no positive praise, no... Nothing. No, get off. Hannah, Hannah wants to get out. Get off quickly. Right, Hannah, oh. get out. It's my, it's my house. No, it's not for that. Get, get, get out now! Right, I'm not in and out every five minutes. If you're in, you stay in. If you're out, you stay out. Sit down and eat your pear, and then when you're finishing, come I'm back in. I think there's a lot of work to be done here. I think the true test will come when the one or both of the girls kick off, and then we can see whether they unite or they stand apart. But he's... He's, he's kind of set the... apart. Look, Lee's yeah. gone to sit, have a sit down. He's on the periphery. She's very anxious, isn't she? She really polices their behaviour. Well, what did you glean from the profile? What what problems did you see there? Just really sad, actually. I thought it was a really sad atmosphere in the family. Parents who feel that their relationship is on the edge of breakup. Children who have a very, very slippery control over their own behaviour. Yeah. Parents who just are not enjoying their children and not enjoying each other. Just unhappiness, actually. <laughs> Before any of the nice families dish? arrived in the house, Dr Tanya deliberately placed a jar of sweets on view in the kitchen. Mum Louise Turner thinks that Dad Lee gives in too well, easily to the me. children. You Will he allow a sweetie stage. meltdown for a quiet You're not allowed life? Anymore. It says one, look Hannah. One, one turn two. only yeah. per child. I only have one. No, that's all you're having. You're not having any more sweets. No. I, I told you no. <laughs> no, I said I no. Know. Don't smack me. Get your pear off that table if you're not going to eat <laughs> no, anything, Ben. I want them. You do, Jessica. No. I want them. Ah. Do you want to go to bed? I want them. How will they react to you telling them that they're negative about their children? Somehow I feel that she, it's all out there for her. She's ready to just embrace it. I'm, I'm wondering more about, about Lee, actually. I wonder whether he might be a bit trickier, um, a bit more defensive. <laughs> Honey, you're supposed to work now! Dad Lee Turner turns 46 today and thoughts of what he could have done to celebrate are already causing tension. 
Hey, at least you'll never forget your 46th birthday. No, I'm a princess. I know, but I'd have been in the boozer by now. No, you wouldn't. Just had a drink with Dad, wouldn't I? Yeah, left me at home with that. It's my birthday. So it doesn't matter, what about my birthday? Do I get to go off on my own on my birthday? Never, do I how? Different. Look at Mother's Day. So we're supposed to have a bit of time for myself? No, I don't think so, do you? <laughs> Dr Tanya has over an hour to observe the turn of parents' interaction with their two daughters. She's certainly got a challenge on her hands. But how will she deal with the onset of this Don't ask him to hide. Hi. Sorry? Hi. Hi. The Cooksleys from West Sussex are a very happy family. We're extremely close, we are, aren't we? We are very close, very actually, close. yeah. And it's nice because we've always been that way. Two and a half year old Lewis is a lovely little boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. 30 year old insurance kiss. claims handler Nikki is a very here, loving then. mum. Come give Birdie a kiss. Go, hello, Lewis. Come and give me a kiss then. Is that it? And 35 year old got to run again, customer is he? service representative who's been on top oh, of the box 43 up. times Look, is the ultimate dad. I love playing games with, with Lewis, it's fantastic. I'm a big kid myself. Faster, but despite faster, this, faster, faster. all is not well in the Cooksley household. <laughs> He will not eat anything with the slightest lump in, anything that's got um, peas in, sweet corn, anything like that. He usually sort of gags on it and, and makes himself sick. Oh, you've got a nice, you've got a nice tea tonight. A nightmare. Breakfast, there's days that he won't even try a mouthful of it. <coughs> to be honest, I, I give up even trying to bother giving him lunch. You're going to eat your tea? No. Yeah, you're going to eat it for daddy? No. Please. I am worried sick that because he's not eating, he's going to get seriously affected by it. Just just one mouthful. Let's try a little bit for mum. <coughs> Go on. Last chance. No. No. There it goes. It's got to go in the bin now, is not it, yet again? There's only one way we'll to get Lewis one more time. to eat. Roast dinners, which he absolutely adores, he will only touch if it's a uh, consistency of that you could drink in a bottle. That should be satisfactory. It's frustrating because he will eat things like chocolate, crisps, you name it, anything that is not good for him, he will eat. You shouldn't be having two of these because you didn't eat your tea. But Daddy gives them to you because he thinks that... Um, it's better to have something than nothing, isn't it? Mama. Calm down. He can get quite vicious, quite quite nasty at times. It's almost like that he's just gone so long without anything to eat that, that he is getting very, very ratty. Uh, and without enough energy no. to keep Lewis going through the night, Lewis. no one in the family is getting any sleep. He'll wake usually round about 10 or 11. We end up, both of us, having an extremely disturbed night because he then usually is awake more or less every half an hour. What's the matter, Lewis? It's just unbelievably tiring all the time. Some mornings, you know, I get up and I'm just totally, totally drained. I cry quite a lot over Lewis. I think it all stems from the fact that I'm so worried about him not eating for so long that is he going to die? Can you know, eat some eggs for Mummy? No. Pardon? No. Yes? No. Lewis's ideal meal would be French fries, no. probably followed by a bar of chocolate, followed by a bag of crisps, followed by a yoghurt. Yeah. My ideal meal for, for him would be something like a roast dinner. If he could have one solid day of having good food and no problems with that, then I would be extremely made up. <laughs> Come on then. That would be a very big achievement. Or I would be over the moon. Hello, fish. Do you want to go and see them? Oh, well, they're lovely. Down there, you can have it. You can have to, if you, you can have a talk to the fishes. Look, fish. Do you want to look at the fishes? Yes. 
Shall we have Hello. a look, shall we? Hi. Hello. 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 Hi there. Hi. Lee. Hi. Lee. Hi. Lee, welcome there. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, Lee. I'm Nikki. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Nikki. Louise. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. Who's this? This, this is, is Lewis. Lewis. Hello, Lewis. Hello. Hello. Hannah. And Jessica. <laughs> Hannah and Jessica. Oh, how old is Hannah and Jessica? Six and three. So, Tanya, the Cooksleys have been in a couple of minutes. What, what do you think of their behaviour so far? The first thing that strikes me is how brilliant that the Turners and the Cooksleys are in this house together because they are so positive with their child. In fact, they are almost too positive with their child. I mean, they're lovely parents and he is the centre of their world. But he is the centre of their world. I mean, he totally is the centre of their world. You sit down and look at the fishes then. Dirty. Yeah, they are. Well, this one, my kid. You look at the fish. Mummy, said, Mummy and Daddy's only here. <laughs> oh, look, one turn only per child. <laughs> oh, you have a look. Does that include us? Can we turn it? <laughs> What's the matter? Daddy. You want to look at the fishes with Daddy? Do you? Let's just think about the problems that the Cooksleys have, yeah. which is that he won't eat anything in solid form. Yes. Everything has to be liquidised. That's right. And they just need help. Where does that come from? Why won't he eat properly, do you think? Lewis is a very sweet little boy. Little tiny... Uh, they treat him a little, I think, a little bit immaturely. As if he's a baby. As if he's a baby. And he eats pureed food as if he's a baby. Right. So there's issues of anxiety in the parents, I think, for different reasons than the Turners. Um, anxiety around food, particularly mum, and that maybe they are finding it difficult to face the fact that their son needs to grow up a bit. Right. Would you say that he has them, just from me watching, yeah. them wrapped around his finger? I mean, he wanted to do fishes with daddy, fishes with daddy, and at one point, when Paul stepped away, he went, ah! Yep, and, and then he came straight back. Absolutely right. And I think their sort of mode of parenting is very much about keeping him happy. Right. So while I'm working with the Turners to help them make their daughters happy, to make themselves happy, I think I'm going to have to be fairly tough with the Cooksleys to help them learn how to say no and follow through and just deal with the fact and tolerate their own anxiety when he gets upset. There. Where? There. There he is. No. Hello. Hello. This one. This one. What's the matter? Um, it's obviously lunchtime soon. Mm -hmm. How do you think the cookies are going to cope with lunch and what would you like to see them do? I just want to see the problem. I really want to see the problem. I don't want them to perform for me. I just want to see what the problem is. This one. Do you like him? Like him this one. You like him that one, do you? No, I don't. It's Observation Day in the House of Tiny Tearaways, a unique childcare haven run by psychologist Dr Tanya Byron. So far, two families have arrived, hoping to solve their parenting problem in an environment of mutual support. The Turner family from Rochdale have come to deal with the tantrums and bad behaviour of their daughters, Hannah, age six, and Jessica, age three. Second to arrive were the Cooksleys. Mum Nicky and Dad Paul want two and a half year old son Lewis to eat solid food. With just six days to turn these problems around, Dr Tanya Byron is facing the biggest challenge of her career. While Jessica and Hannah Turner play in the garden, Tanya takes this chance to get their parents' side of the story. So you need to tell me, why are you here in, in my house and what do you want? me to help you with? Jessica and her tantrums. Right. And they just don't listen, uncontrollable. So, and sorry babe, but Lee, not backing me up on what I say. Could I ask you to describe each of your daughters? Just give me three words to describe each of your daughters. <laughs> Start with... Hannah, slightly neurotic. Right. Neurotic. Right, you ready? Highly strong, cheeky. Okay. Yeah. Jessica? Cheeky, cute and manipulative. Okay. Well, I would say there's one more with Jessie. What? Stubborn. Stubborn, yeah. Okay. Very strong world. Yeah. Okay. How desperate are you? I'm desperate. It's, How desperate? I'm it's really... got to the stage I'm... where, I'll be honest, you, you want to walk out. You want to walk you out? You actually sometimes well, get I to do. the stage. Oh, sweetheart. Hmm? You do as well. We don't get on well when the kids are playing. <sighs> 
how do you feel about yourself as a mum? I feel this goes way beyond your girls. I think this goes way into the way you feel about yourself as a, as a mother, as a person, as a woman. Because I'm concerned that actually you're feeling really down on yourself at the moment, really down. I just feel like I'm a failure to them. It's just, it's really hard. I just, I like run other people and other families and stuff and I think, why, why can't ours be like that? Why is that so stressful all the time? Why am I always screaming at them? But as a mother, how would you describe yourself as a mum? I don't know, I just feel like I'm a failure as a mum. I do. Who you not? Because everything's, yeah, but I just, I feel that way. I think you two love each other very much. I think you really wanted to have kids. Yeah. I think what's devastating both of you as individuals in, in your marriage is mm. that your kids aren't bringing you happiness and joy. They're bringing you stress yeah. and tension. Right. You have a very low self-esteem as a mum, very low self-esteem. And you, and we need to work on that. We need sorry. to work on that. Don't say sorry. I tell you, the core of the problem is you guys. Mm. It really is about you. I've watched you all morning and I really need to help you how you interact with your children. For the first 10 minutes you were in the house, I counted the number of negative interactions you had with the kids versus yeah. the number of positive interactions. Mm. No climbing. Don't. No. Do not. Don't. Don't. Don't do that. Well, either one of you or both of you had a negative interaction with your kids approximately one every 15 to 20 seconds. Don't do, don't do, don't touch, don't do. Don't touch, don't do, don't, don't climb. Don't. And when any of your daughters did anything positive, yeah. you said nothing. Nothing, mm. yeah, no mm. praising, yeah. So I think that's where we need yeah. to start. Uh, let me leave you together for a couple okay. of minutes. Let okay. me I'll take these for you. Oh, thanks. thanks. All right, let's. Cheers. Are you all right? You feel better now? It's all right, sweet. It's better that you do it now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do, we're going to bring you a little bit nearer Whoa, to Pickle the table, yeah? We're preparing we their first lunch in the house for their two-and-a-half-year-old yeah. son, yeah. Lewis. <laughs> Lewis is a very picky <laughs> eater. What we're going to do, Chris, mummy's, mummy's just gone to listen. Food. They're trying him on bread and butter, so Dr Tony can diagnose where they might be going wow, wrong. Wow, look what you've got. Oh, you got some bread shoulders. Are you going to Some cheese. Tea. Mum, we're going to sit down next to you. Can Daddy have a little bit? Yeah. Oh. What's this, nice? darling? What's that? Dig dig. It's a dig dig, isn't it? They come at the, to the high chair with an awful lot of tension. That don't I can feel it. Mm. I mean, he shouldn't be in a high chair. No. And look, it's not meal time. It's play time. You're going to eat it all up for Daddy. That's a dig dig. I tell you what we'll do, Lewis. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. If I take that, we'll leave it on there. And then, listen, and oh, we can, we can put... Daddy! Daddy! Are you going to eat? Listen, listen, listen. listen. Oi, listen, listen. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. Are, you going to eat your, are you going to eat your dinner up if I give you the dig dig back? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Right, well, I'll give you the dig dig back if you eat your dinner. Yeah. You've got to eat your dinner up, though. Dig it up, I don't though. like that. What? Him having toys up when he's eating. No. Ooh. You got toys all up. They've got to learn to say no to this yeah. child, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. If you eat your dinner up, then you can have the dig dig there. Like, there's just don't. too much negotiation. Pressure. He's very yeah, powerful, this kid, isn't he? Yeah. And he's getting to that age where he realises it, so he can just go. <laughs> would do then. If you don't want that, would you like a yogurt? Would you like a yogurt? Yeah. Yog yog. Yeah. What colour yog yog? White. You want a white yog yog? Well, there we go, finished. You haven't touched it. <laughs> Thanks, Lewis, as play, usual. Play dig dig now, see? Yeah, but you shouldn't be playing the dig dig because you didn't eat your dinner up, did you? Did, did, have they taken it away? It hasn't been there that long, has it? No, they've given up. Do you want a brown yog yog or a white yog yog? Oh, he wants a brown yog yog. A brown yog yog? <sighs> no, no, no! Oh. oh, what's mummy got? Should daddy give this to him? Yes, please. <laughs> Wait, oi, wait a minute. <laughs> Lewis, just Could have you... some patience, please. Just coffee over, please. Yeah, sorry. Psychologically, what's the problem with calling it a brown yog yog? 
Well, it's such immature language for food, and we really need to get this kid more mature around food. No, they're not even letting him feed himself the brown yog yog. He's nearly three. He should be feeding himself the yog yog. But also, if your child doesn't eat what you want them to eat, and you cave in within moments and give him what he does want, what's the message there? How many of these um, chocolate thingies have we got, Nikki? Um, enough. Enough, yeah. Well, for now, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't really want to give him any more now. No, well, he's not. Because he's no. had um, two this morning. Oh yeah, you had two yogurts because you wouldn't eat your breakfast, would you, this morning? No. No. Oh yeah. I okay. might. Just, do you know? I might have to ban brown yog yog. You're taking it away. The brown yog yog is going. Are you going to dress up? Oh, no. Do you want to dress up? You want Yay! To Dr. Tony oh, has given the girls yeah. 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 costumes. I want to dress up as Sisters Hannah and Jessica Turner constantly squabble over toys. Dr. Tony wants to see how Mum Louise and Dad Lee deal with sibling disputes. You both have a turn, yeah? I want to have of course you can. You can have a turn in a minute. She snatches everything off. She didn't, she didn't even say please. She didn't snatch it off you, Hannah. Oh, your she hands. didn't even say please. She's having a tantrum, isn't she? She's yeah, having a tantrum because she can't have the dress. I can't even say but in effect, what he's doing is he's giving more attention to the child who's behaving badly than to the child who's behaving beautifully, which is Jessica. He is reinforcing the behaviour he doesn't want by giving an attention. Yeah, because she thinks the more I shout, the more Daddy will. So she'll just carry on shouting. I don't know what I'm going to play without a dress. Don't do that, Hannah. Come on, let's play nicely. Let's play nicely. I did that dress first, and she just, she just no. said, please, I'll thank you. I'm going to go Jessica. I'm just going to ignore her. Because if you ignore her, she might just... I'm going to go and play with them, and then she'll think she's been left out. I'm not going to say anything to her. Come on. Louise is saying, why don't you walk away? So she's already gleaned that just from being here for a morning. Mm. And it looks like Lee's just not going to do it. No. So the split parenting, I think yeah. we see it in action, really. Because he'd look silly in the dress, wouldn't he? Come on. <laughs> do you think she's going to get her own way? Is she going to get the dress? Well, it looks like they're crumbling, actually, already, doesn't it? I think probably. It's clear Tani has a lot of work ahead, and it'll only be compounded by the arrival of our third family, the Egg Bonds. Meet the Egg Bonds, 29-year-old Nicola and Dante, who's 23 months. Dante has taken over his mum's life with his atrocious behaviour. Let's go. Dante has also hijacked his mum's bed, turning her nights into a living hell. From birth till now. You know, I haven't had a full night's. He hasn't had a full night's sleep, and I haven't had a full night's sleep. Living on the eighth floor in a council block in Hoxton in London, Nicola feels isolated. She is desperate to get off the estate. But Dante's terrible behaviour has taken over Nicola's entire life. Even a simple trip to the job centre becomes a nightmare. Five minutes, Dante is throwing things, and everyone's looking around like, you know, shut your child up, or I really need a job, and I have to do this. Yeah. OK, then we're going now. Come on. We win, OK? As if all this daytime turmoil isn't enough, Nicola dreads the nights even more. Dante has his own room, but he's never once slept in it. He's taken over Mum's bed, and on top of this, he just won't sleep right through the night. Getting ready for bed. Take him in the room, kiss him goodnight, and the tears start. My frustration starts. Nicola has to put Dante back to bed up to 15 times in the first hour alone. And then, through the night, he wakes up every hour. My body is actually really drained. I'm tired. I'm angry. I'm 
you know, full of emotions and I'm tearful, I'm crying, you know, so there are times I sit down, I'll be crying. He's up again, as you can see. Um, I have to go back and try again. He wants me to lay down with him. But um, I'm gonna try for a little while and see how it goes. Okay, it's bedtime. Sleep time, okay? You wanna sleep? Yeah, okay. Okay. Tired. Six months ago, Nicola decided that to get any sleep at all, she'd have to crash on the sofa. But all through the night, Dante still wakes her. I can't get comfortable and get some sleep. I just want my own bed back. We open the door. <gasps> As Nicola wow. and Dante get familiar with their Look new surroundings, Tanya Hello. is monitoring from the office. Yeah, the fishes, you see? You see the fishes? How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Louise, Great. by the way. Louise, yeah. Nicola. Nicola. Yeah. How are you doing, princess? You look That's good. Jessica. Hey, Jessica. This say is Dante. Hello. Say hello to Dante. Say hello. Ooh, OK. Go now, Jessica. Come on, Dan, let's look around first and then you can go in there, okay? Wow. Ooh. This is nice. Where's Daddy? Where's Are you in here or are you out? Nicola boys get and Dante the bed. have barely had a chance to settle in. How do they do Dr. it? Dr. is already getting yeah. straight to it. You can press them all the time. to work on the sleeping Ooh. problem. Ooh. Every moment counts. And then he goes, yeah. You're going to sleep there, are you? Can you show me? You're going to show Tanya how you're going to sleep? How do big boys get onto the bed? How do big boys get onto the bed? How do they do it? Oh. How do they do it? <laughs> Whose bed is this? Whose bed is this? It is this. Is this Dante's bed? Yeah. Where will Dante sleep? Show me how Dante sleeps. Show me how Dante sleeps. Does he lie down? Go sleeping. Should we go, night night Dante? Good boy. Gonna lie down on our pillow. No night, Dante. <sighs> Should we go? No night, Dante. Say bye bye, Dante's bed. Why do you think you've allowed it to get to this point? Well, when his dad left, that's when I started putting him in my bed. Why do you? He think never that? slept in a cot. He he wouldn't sleep in a cot before he slept in a Moses basket when he was first born. Is Dante the man of the house? <laughs> because he's in your bed. Pretty much. He's in your bed, so he's the man of yeah, the house. Yeah, I've moved from the, my bed to the living room. Okay. I've had back pains because of it, because I've been sleeping on the, on the sofa for like six months. I think the only way we're going to crack this in a very short period of time is to start straight away, okay? okay. So I'm going to set you a, ta a bit of a task, a bit of a challenge for tonight. Okay. And that is that I'd like you to have him in bed by half past seven. Okay. Okay. What do you mean, have him in bed? I want him in bed, I want him lying down, yeah. I want him... Tanya, he won't. Let's see. Wow. Okay, think it through, think about it. So okay, so I'll just do it like I do, getting him ready and... Do it as you do, but that obviously means he's got to eat, he's got to bath, he's yeah, got to do all, all that, that stuff as well. 7.30. That's cool. I, I'm, I'm up for it. I know you I'm are. I'm up for it. So I don't After an eventful few hours, Dad's Paul Cooksley careful, and Lee Louise Turner start, take some time out to play yeah, with Lewis and Jessica the in the playground. And I can take the back seat and sit back a bit. That's right. You know, so if, if I have to cut back my hours, I'll take the kids to school mm. and, and whatever. Mm. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh dear, oh, all right, OK. Anna. It's all right, so you didn't mean to do it. It's all right, OK, no, it's all right. It so. <laughs> That's the mummy, it's all right. She didn't mean no, to do it, it's an accident. Yeah. Come on. Just, oh, just right. Don't worry. Don't oh, worry. All right. Come in. Don't worry. It's all right. All right. Let's have a look. Lift your head up. He's all right. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hold him up. 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 H
They're doing a collage. <laughs> um, it's going quite well, actually. I want them to do a collage because I want, well, for two reasons. One, why are they here? Drawings sometimes tell you more than words. Right. They're still a bit, you know, don't know me that well, so maybe they're not telling me everything. But I think, for me, more importantly, it tells me something about them as a group. Do we see any personalities come out here? Are we going to do some, sweetheart? Yeah. Do some painting. Lewis is doing some. Good boy. Does anybody dominate? Does anybody hold back? Do they stick in their family groups? Are they prepared to kind of work across? Ah, All those issues. That's interesting. So it absolutely tells you the dynamic. At the moment, they're really working in three family groups. Yes, Do you agree? Completely. With our lone mum and her little boy out in the edge there, out in the corner, and everybody else all around there. The cooksies are drawing knives, forks, and plates of food. Yeah, that's obviously their oh, that's key interesting. preoccupation. Paul, I think, is drawing a bed, is he? He's yes, I think that is a bed. So, bed. maternal preoccupation, food, paternal preoccupation, sleep. He wants him to sleep, she wants him to eat. Yeah. Wow, Lewis, what's that? Is it the sea or something? That looks like Mummy's mind at the moment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You artist, aren't you? Can you watch his tootsies that he doesn't get yeah. paint on the floor, yeah. darling? Oh, right. okay. oh, yeah. Lewis, Lewis, please don't get paint on the carpet. A good boy. So did you hear Nikki Cooksley there? Can you watch it that he doesn't get paint on the floor, darling? Mess. Anxiety. I think I need to get the Cooksleys doing a lot more messy play, messy touch, messy schlop, messy, messy mess. Watch your Tootsies, Watch your feet, Lewis. Lewis. Don't put your feet in it, darling. I, I haven't spoken to them yet, but I think she's got a lot she wants to say to me. So I think she's got some issues with Paul, and I think that, you know, this is more than a, f this is more than a child behaviour problem. That's good, actually. That is fantastic, isn't it? I should be an artist. I'm in the wrong job. <laughs> Amongst all the kind of, they're very nice, I think there's a bit of tension going there. He's trying to isn't he? I could draw one. Oh, yeah, the tension. You want me with a beautiful yard dress? Am I correct in thinking that they've just drawn a devil child, the Turners? They've written out the word stress. Louise did that. Yeah. And then there's a little girl with devil horns. That kind of fits in with what they've been saying, really, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to do that? Oh, yeah. oh, was there some? I was there. Yeah, oh, yeah, well done. Oh, Thank you. Oh, Cheers, oh, Yeah, if you wait. I know, sweetheart. It's all on your handy poos, isn't it? All oh, handy poos. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Wipes. Wipes. I've got to ban wipes. Shall I pop out and say five more minutes, no wipes? Shall yes. I? Do it. Shall do I? it. Come on, Tonya. Quickly! She's got ten in her hand. She's got ten. Wow. Hey. Hello. More minutes, just but I just need to take the wipes away if that's no, all right. Oh, so I'm just going to ban wipes for the minute if that's okay. 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 But for, uh, brilliant. You didn't know you were such a good artist, did you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me! Oh, me! <laughs> Let him get dirty. Ooh. <laughs> she was shocked. Why is it bad that she minds mess? It, for children to learn how to eat effectively and to be able to feed themselves, they need to be able to make a mess. If a mother or a father can't manage their own anxiety about mess, they will stop their child self-feeding, exploring, slopping, schlupping, and the child then becomes anxious, and that's when you start to get feeding problems. Today is observation day in the house of tiny tearaways. In order for Dr. Tanya to fully understand the different parental problems, she'll be spending the majority of her day assessing the three families from her office. There's the Turners who have come to deal with their daughter's bad behaviour and tantrums. Single mum Nicola Egbon, who's trying to get to the bottom of why her two-year-old son Dante won't sleep through the night. And finally, the Cookses who want to conquer some Louis's eating problem. Are you going to eat your, you really? going to eat your dinner up if I give you the dig dig back? Yeah. Uh, Earlier today, Tony asked the Cooksleys to prepare yeah, a simple we'll dish of that. solid food for two and a half okay. year old Lewis. That's all right, Mum Nikki mm, has prepared a simple Look pasta dish and Dad has yeah. yeah. taken the job of trying uh, to get Lewis to eat what'd it. What did you say? Tony and I are observing. Yeah, we're going to have that first of all. Yeah, that's fine. 
Look. No. What's the matter? No, no, no. No, what's the matter? No, no. Yeah, but it's pasta, Lewis. It's easy to eat. Come on. No. Come on, please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Lewis, do you want mummy to come and give, me you, come and give you some dinner? Yeah. Right, mummy do it then. Okay. You're going to eat one for daddy? No, 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 no. No, you're not having a brown, a chocolate yogurt just yet? Mm. Well, they're negotiating and pleading with this little boy. He's so powerful, isn't he? It's ridiculous. Well, it is a bit boring. <laughs> so it's um, not going very well? No. No. Can I just ask you to really try? I, I'm really pushing you now. Okay. I really, because I've got to see how far you can push him and okay. how far he can push you, and you're just giving in to him. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Lewis? Good Lewis. Lewis? Lewis? Right. There we go. So, Tony, why did you do that one? Well, because if they give up, I can't see how far they're prepared to go. And I need to see, I need to see his behaviour. This is what I need to see. Sweetheart. Come on. Can you hold that spoon then? You hold that spoon then. Yeah, you have that one, and then Mummy do that one. Right, ready? He's very controlling little boy, isn't he? Open up. Yes, you're going to have some. Lewis. Lewis. It's tasty, and he just won't, will he? He's never yeah. been taught how to. Come on. Come, Come on, come on. One little bit. Come on, it's no, no, Lewis, it's nice. You have some. Come on. Come on. Just one. Just one little bit. Yeah. Just one little bit. Good boy. No, no. Okay. Oh, that's Lewis, enough. Lewis, come on. Time out. Time out. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Not nice. No. 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 All right. All right. Oh. Is that your spoon? Sit down, Dad. Is that your spoon? Is that Lewis's spoon? Let me see. Can I see your spoon? There. He's fine. Look. He's fine. You're not fine. No. You want, to, you want to burst into tears? No, I'm all right. Yeah. I'm okay. All right. Okay. Look, you have your spoons back. Okay. I'd like to see him eat something himself that he will eat. Because yeah. I've seen, I've now seen him not eat. Yeah. I'd really like to see him okay. eat. Okay. So even if it's just crisps yeah. or biscuits or whatever. Crisps. Yeah. 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 At least yeah. we're getting something into him. Yes. So then you don't feel so anxious. And then, then we'll let's take it one step at a time. Okay. Thank you for doing that. I know it was tough, but yeah. we're not going to do that again. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll do. I'll go back and watch. Just give him, give him what you know we'll eat. Okay. The crisps. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. See you later. All right. Would you like a bag of Krispies first, then? I wanted to see them be persistent. I wanted to see them be assertive. I wanted to see how many different strategies they had to try and get him to eat something he wouldn't. Have you seen this kind of thing before? I have, yes. But it doesn't get solved in six days. Does it not? No. Six months. What can, it, what can you do in six days? I think I've got to change their attitude and beliefs around his food and feeding behaviour. I think I've got to work with the parents. I mean, they are incredibly anxious and watching them try and feed him really underlined to me quite how anxious they are. No. Yeah, we're going to have some recipes. No, yeah, I'm sorry, Lewis. Sorry. Sorry. Can try and Following an anxious mealtime, Dr Tanya asks okay. the Cooksleys to join her in her office okay with the intention of sharing a few okay. home truths. Um, I really need to leave you tonight with, I think, with some, some big stuff to think about. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, um, I suppose the most important thing I want to ask you both is what do you think really is the problem? What is really going on here? Do you think? I mean, I, I tend to think sometimes that it's us not allowing him to take his time or allowing him to explore food as he should do. Right. Who's to blame, Nicky? Oh, definitely. And what do you think the problem with you is? I think, personally for me, I think I speak for you as well. Um, I think I'm... I want him happy and I think that I can wake up one morning and think, well, today I will get tough with him and I'll just crumble and just give in to him and give him what he wants. You are the pro your son's problem, significantly so, to the point where I think you might be restricting his development because he's actually 
quite immature for a child of his age. Mm -hmm. It's a horrible thing to say, but it's the truth. And when Lewis is going, and he's done it loads of times today, uh, and you both run over, what you should do is he goes, uh, and you both walk away, the message being, you can't control us with your behaviour. It's not the right time for us to be with you now. That feels horrid, but it's the only way he's going to learn in the way that me saying something horrid to you is the only way that you're yes. going to learn. Life can't all be about clouds and yeah. flowers and bunnies. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, I do. I do say it. You've come into this house to achieve your aims with your son. Yes. You have to think long and hard tonight whether you are prepared to go the full journey with me because I want you to stop being his best mate. Mm -hmm. After nearly two years of sleepless nights, Nicola Egbon is following Dr. Tanya's advice in the hope of getting her son Dante to sleep through the night, and more importantly, in his own bed. You cold, baby? Okay. Back up. It's better. Okay, sit back. Dr. Tanya has asked Nicola to put Dante to bed by 7.30. You cold, babe? That's an hour earlier than he's used to. You better. Okay. I love you. I love you, Danny. I love you. You're gonna sleep all by yourself like a big boy tonight. Yeah? Yeah? Deal? Okay. Okay, I'll be back. Let me get you, Coco? Yeah. Okay. One second. While mum Nicola is making Dante's cocoa, Dr. Tony has noticed something surprising. Nicola, he, he looks like he's asleep. No. Is he? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's sleeping. You want him to be? You want him to be? Sleeping. So do you want to wake him up for cocoa? No. What no. time is it? <laughs> Past seven. Okay, but that's the first step. First step. First step. But I mean, I, I just think. I think he was just knackered, oh, no, because he missed his nap. It was. Well, tomorrow we are going to go. We are tomorrow is sleep day. day. Tomorrow okay. is our day. But I just wanted you to see that. <sighs> He's knackered. Though. He looks like his head. You know up. what? Let me tell you. Oh, my you family go? think I'm not a good mom. Yeah, well, you know, they're I'm wrong. so happy, like, you know, if they get, like, they get to see, see me and Dante, they'll realise. Mm. But I swear I've gotten so much. But <sighs> look at my baby. He's gorgeous. That right, bed. there's Mr. Squirrel, yeah, so... because have got of that. Oh, yeah, it's eight o'clock. With Tony's straight talking still ringing right, in their ears, Mum and Dad could sleep settle tell you a Lewis big down story for the night. Tonight. With a little oh. help from Mr. Now, where's Squirrel. Mr. Snowman? Hello, Lewis. Hello. What's your name? Booby. Booby? Yeah. That's not your name. Lewis. What's your Lewis? That's right. And what have you done today? What have you seen today? Dr. Who have you seen? Dr. Tanya. You've seen Dr. Tanya yeah. today? No, Whilst no, Lewis no, is being entertained no. by animal puppetry, Hannah and Jessica Hello, seem to be settling right, down you. in their bedroom. Oh, yeah. oh Jess? We're sleeping until the morning, okay? Okay, After Tanya. a busy first day, so it's the end I want of to day hear one. what Dr. Tanya's aim will be for the what rest of the week. You've had a big old day. So, okay, best case scenario, Turner's Less frequent tantrums, much happier family, positive interaction, mum and dad working together. Cooksley's. He's eating his sandwich, he's eating solid food, he's feeding himself, they're much, le much less anxious and they're more assertive with him around his behaviour. And Nicola, that she puts her son to bed, he goes to sleep and he stays asleep in his own bed throughout the night and she has a good night's sleep in her bed. Okay. Will I do it in six days? I don't know. I really don't know if I can do that in six days.
After a bedtime victory with little Dante, Mum Nicola shares her parental concerns with Nicky Cooksley. You know, you don't see me in here playing like you guys play with your little ones because I've never been around babies before, you know? And I just don't know how to play with babies. He doesn't want to, he doesn't fall all over me and climb on top of me and because I'm always kind of shouting or being strict or because I just don't want to make a mistake. You know, but my mom said, she said, uh, you treat this boy like he's a big boy. He's only a baby still because they baby him so much. And, you know, they love him because he's the only grandson on mm-hmm. both sides. So, and I just hope that me and him can bond, like, really bond. There, there's something I noticed about you that I really envied, right? And that was... Um, the way you spoke to him, like uh, he was standing out here, you were in there. It was just like, wow, you know, you're just, you you can get on his level. You know, you're all right, mate, you know. The way you came across, the way I saw you was, you, you, you are not just a mum, you are his friend. Friends. And that, that is my brilliant. Buddy. Ex- yeah, What's exactly. that buddy? It's two o'clock in the morning, and with Dr. Tanya gone for the evening, it gives the families an opportunity to record their thoughts on video diaries. Um, After an emotional <clears> first day, really the Turners feel they've already made some progress. Day for me. Um, it's been a really emotional day for me. Um, sometimes I don't know why I get so emotional. It's, it's everything, it's a combination of everything. It was hard, it was hard showing my emotions in front of Lee because I try and hide it because I don't want to feel like I'm letting him down or letting the girls down but for the first time it helped me today because it got rid of the stress and I was able to cope better with the girls and I wasn't screaming at them because I'd sort of let out the stress when I was crying. I was really upset today to see Louise upset. Um, it's, that's really affected me. I didn't realise it had got to... Well I did realise but I didn't realise it got to that stage. Um, and already he's starting to help with the kids. Um, <laughs> things that Tanya suggested, little things like saying no, thank you for doing it right and well done, it, uh, have really, really helped. Two year old Dante Egbon has been asleep for six hours. This is the longest unbroken sleep he has ever had. Has Dr. Tanya solved the egg bonds problem already, or is it just too good to be true? No, it's yours. Oh. You can see with a lot of lights, you see the lights on the monitor when the Yeah, you sound. see the lights oh, start to flash. Okay. Oh, is that what that means? Volume. Yeah. Oh, what volume. time is it? You're clever. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Get off the One. Baby. Mama. Where's your mama? Gone. No, it's not gone, baby boy. It's not gone. Coco. Your Coco's right here, and your mum mum's here, okay? Come, get into bed. Okay. I love you. You're, you're a good boy. This is Danny's room. Here's your Coco, and here's your covers. Okay? Good boy. After another four hours of unbroken sleep, it looks like coming to the house of tiny tearaways may have just done the trick. Or has it? Mommy? Mommy, me? Mommy?
baby, you need to lay down. In the morning, you get cut After 12 attempts to settle Dante back to sleep, Nicola finally gives in by spending the rest of the night by his side. And with only five nights remaining, will Dr. Tanya be able to find a solution?